Alright guys, so after moisturizing my skin, I went ahead and applied some primer. I used the Thank Me Later by Elizabeth Mock for my eyelid primer and face putty primer for my face. Alright, so I always like to start with my eyes um, before I get into doing my makeup on my our face like foundation and stuff because I always like get um, fallout from my eyeshadow or well, sometimes I get fallout from my eyeshadow especially if I'm doing like a um, glittery, glittery look I'll get like fallout so I'd rather just like do my eyes first and if I have fallout I can wipe it off instead of it messing up my foundation or face makeup so the eyeshadow that I use for this tutorial is the electric palette by Urban Decay and I used three main colors, um, all blue shades. Three different blues that you see here. And the um, closest to my nose, that's, I put fringe. And then in the middle, it's the gonzo color. And then towards the end, it's um, chaos. And it just creates a really nice gradient. Um, the key really with this look is just blending. Like you have to make sure you're blending really well. Honestly, eyeshadow makeup is really easy to do. Like I feel like anyone can learn how to do eyeshadow makeup. It just takes time and patience and a lot of blending. Like I think blending is like the key to making your eyeshadow look look really really good and look really professional so the more you blend the more seamless it looks the better it looks so yeah that's my little tip okay so the outer parts of my eyes I use a dark brown color um, from my semi sweet chocolate palette by Too Faced and the color was hot fudge I also use the black color on um, licorice as well just to make it a little bit darker and for like a transition color I use um, Raisin the blush by MAC and also I use the peanut butter in the uh, semi sweet chocolate bar for the transition color. I did my eyebrows off camera because I'm not an eyebrow person. I really don't like doing my eyebrows. <laughs> and yeah, for my eyeliner, I did do a winged look and I used the e.l.f. cream eyeliner for this. Alright, so now on to the face. I'm using my favorite foundation ever. <laughs> and that is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation by NARS. And the brush I'm using is the e.l.f. Um, face brush, I believe. It broke, like the handle broke. So it kind of looks like a kabuki brush now, which I actually don't mind. Um, also, another trick that I do, well, a trick that I do with foundation is I use... Um, this thing called Gleam by Melanie Miller and it's kind of like that highlighting um, cream-ish, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I use that on top of my foundation and that's what I'm doing right now. It just makes your face look even more glowy and more dewy if that's the look that you're going for. So now I'm highlighting with the um, Mac Prolongo Concealer 
then under the 35. I always just use under the 40, and like my life has changed ever since I went down to um, under the 35. It just gives me a more um, bam of a highlight, and I love it. I'm never going back. <laughs> For contouring, I use my Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation Stick in the color Espresso. I think this is the darkest color they have. Um, it's not really like the biggest or most, you know, uh, defined contour that I have done. <laughs> this color is not like that dark, but I like it because it gives me like a, somewhat of a subtle um, contour. So that's why I like it. Yeah, so you see this brush I'm using now. <laughs> you know those like artistry, I can't remember the name of the brand, but those very really expensive um what's it called brushes that look like this. This is like a dupe that I got from like AliExpress and I would not recommend this. I use it for contouring because it's like not it's pretty tough. Not tough, but it's really, really dense and um it's just not really good for like blending like foundation or anything. I just use it for contour because I feel like I need to use it since I spent money on it. It was really cheap. I think it was like 34 bucks or something. But still, I wouldn't recommend you to get it from China. Just buy the original thing, which I might do later on. So, anyways, now I um, just set my all my foundations. No, not my foundation. Sorry, I set my highlight with the um, translucent powder from Laura Mercier. And after I do that, I let it set for just a little bit and then I wipe it off. And then I go in with my um, face powder from the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep and just blend everything together. I feel like this is the most important step of my makeup because like unblended makeup just irritates me. So I make sure I take time and really blend everything together, the highlighter, the contour. The um, foundation, everything just kind of you know blend everything together with that. Um, what's it called? The uh, dark deep in um, matte mineralized skin finish. Anyways, after that, then I do my highlight. And I use the Becca, um, trend, not trendy, the Becca highlighter, um, the champagne pop, and topaz. I just kind of use both of them. I like topaz better, but I've been I started to use champagne pop more just because my topaz. Is running out. In my tear duct area, I use that champagne pop um, to highlight my tear duct as well. Alright, my blush that I'm using was featured in my favorites video that I did um, last month, and it is the it's from Emmet or Mate makeup and the color is 108. I love, love, love this brush. And to create more of like that defined um, contour, I did go in with the classic sleek contour kit um, in the deepest color just to add a little bit more definition on the cheekbones. my lips, I am using LA Splash um, Liquid Lipstick and the color is in Sangre Azul.
right, so the last step is I always, always, always spray my face with um, Fix Plus, or um, I also sometimes spray with the Scandinavia Skin Finish setting spray, and this just really makes all of your makeup just come together in like one cohesive like texture, in my opinion. It just makes everything kind of melt together and gives you a really, really smooth finish. So that's basically all of it, y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. These are some pictures that I took of the look. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do some more makeup tutorials, just thumbs up this video and leave a comment down below. Make sure you also subscribe. Um, it really helps out my channel. So thanks a lot, guys. See y'all in the next one. Bye.